Hey guys, I just want to give you an example on how to change the new WordPress release uh, 5.0's visual editor from Gutenberg or the quote unquote block editor to the default uh, WYSIWYG editor that we had before in the previous WordPress versions. Um, you can do this if you install the new 5.0, the Gutenberg editor will be kind of forced upon you and uh, instead of the information screen it will give you a plugin you can download to disable that. But a lot of people aren't fans of installing uh, new plugins on their site because they've already got enough plugins. So we are going to do this directly inside of the themes uh, child theme area. So let's go ahead and dig in. I'm already installed. I've got a local environment set up on my PC. So we're going to just go ahead and use that. You can see hello world here. And if you click uh, edit at the top of the screen as soon as it loads, then you're going to see the new Gutenberg editor. This block editor is kind of cool, um, but not everything's compatible and not a lot of people have time to learn yet another new thing. Um, so we're not going to throw out the baby with the bathwater. We're going to keep the rest of the features of WordPress 5.0, uh, except for this Gutenberg editor. So uh, first off, let me sh you shouldn't change your themes through uh, the WordPress UI. Um, so like appearance editor for the themes, you shouldn't change your, your theme files through this but I'm going to show you just real quick using this what file we're going to be changing. I have 2017 installed. This is the parent theme, and then I have a child theme installed. This is just good practice because whenever this gets updated, the files get replaced, including your functions.php file. When th this is installed, you, you don't ever update this. This is a, a client side or user side file uh, theme, a child theme that only you can edit. So any updates that are pushed are normally pushed by you. So uh, we are going to be editing this directly instead of this directly so that our changes aren't overwritten. So we're in 2017 child theme and then the, the area where we're going to be placing this, this line that disables the editor is going to be inside of theme functions. That's functions.php. And here we have it. Okay, so our line is not here yet, but we are going to edit that and normally you would edit that through the file manager inside of your cPanel. Um, which is accessible through your WHM, or uh, if you have a different sort of set, server setup, then that's going to be accessible elsewhere. Uh, just go into your hosting and look for anything that says File Manager. Um, so we, uh, since this is a local environment, all I need to do is go into my file structure, and you can see that I'm already in my public WP Content Themes 2017 child, and then functions.php. So I'm going to edit that file now. And I'm going to add a comment, and I'm going to say uh, disable Gutenberg. Like that. Okay. And I put a. I copied this somewhere. Let's see where that is. There it is. So we're just going to put that line right in here, like that. Let's add filter. Use block editor for posts, and then the value for that is return false. So when we save this. We should be able to go back here and go back to posts like we did before and edit that post. And now you can see the old editor. It's pretty much as simple as that. Uh, if you run into any problems, then you've probably done something like this. Uh, you've put the line before the PHP like that. It needs to be after the opening PHP tag. And if your file has a closing PHP tag, oops, too much HTML. If it has a closing PHP tag, you probably put it after that. So you want to have this code in between those two tags. Open, close. It's not in any of the other functions. It's not interfering with any of the other code. It's in its own separate area here on its own lines. And all of it appears to be in order. Save that file, reload, and you should have your, your normal editor. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.